Hello students, sharing is a good virtue. Sharing teaches us about fractions. We use fractions while dividing a food item like cake or chocolate. In this lesson, we will learn about fraction. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define fractions, discuss fractions on number line, define proper, improper and mixed fractions, understand equivalent fractions, recall simplest form of fractions. Fraction indicates part of a whole thing. 1 upon 2 means that one whole thing is divided into two equal parts and one part out of these two parts is taken. For example, Ravi divides a pizza into two parts. What does the fraction 3 upon 4 represent? It represents 3 out of 4 parts. The shaded part of each figure below represents 3 upon 4 of the entire figure. The ratio of 10 boys to 20 girls in a class can be represented by fraction 2 upon 3. In the fraction 2 upon 3, number 2 is called the numerator of the fraction and number 3 is called the denominator of the fraction. Students, to represent the fraction on a number line, let us mark 1 upon 4 on a number line. It lies between 0 and 1. We divide the length between 0 and 1 into 4 equal parts and show one part as 1 upon 4. Proper fractions. Fractions in which the numerator is less than the denominator are called proper fraction. Improper fraction. Fractions in which the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. Mixed fraction. A mixed fraction has a combination of a whole and a part. Answer the following question by clicking on the correct option. Two or more fractions having the same value or representing the same part of a whole are called equivalent fractions. This can be known by the figures given where the fraction represented by the shaded portion. Since the value of a fraction does not change, if the numerator and denominator of the given fraction are multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number, fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and denominator have no common factor except one. For example, let us take a fraction, 64 by 72, to get an equivalent fraction in which the numerator and denominator have no common factor except one. We know that 64 and 72 both are divisible by two. We get a new fraction, 32 upon 36, but 32 and 36 also have common factor are 1, 2, 4. The highest is 4. 8 and 9 has only common factor 1. We say that the fraction 8 upon 9 is the simplest form of 64 upon 72. Students, second method to find the equivalent fraction in the simplest form is to find the HCF of the numerator and denominator and then divide both of them by the HCF. Consider fraction 64 upon 72. The HCF of 64 and 72 is 8. We get new fraction 8 upon 9 on dividing the numerator and denominator both by HCF. Fill the blanks in each of the following by the correct number. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. 
Fractions can be shown on a number line. Every fraction has a point associated with it on the number line. In a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. The fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator is called improper fractions. An improper fraction can be written as a combination of a whole and a part and such fraction then called mixed fractions. A fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and the denominator have no common factor except one.